Hey guys, we're watching Volgor's videos, and I got two jackets on. Okay. My grandfather gave me this for, like, a birthday present thing. As well as, I think, 30 bucks. I think. No, I know. Yeah. 30 bucks check. Which, actually, while I'm on the subject, this is a perfect opportunity to show off what happened to me today. Try, try to take back the uh, Boston CD. Um, FYE would only take four bucks, and I'm like, well, that's crap. I'll we'll go to um, buybacks and see how much they want. They only gave, they would only give me two fifty. Two fifty. So I'm like, ah, eh, no, I'll go, I'll go to FYE. But um, anyways, got my my check cashed at Wells Fargo. My dad's got an account there. These are two two dollar bills. I already had. Let's see. Eh. Right, eh? 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 Okay, two dollar bills. Now, I went to Wells Fargo and look at all the two dollar bills I got. All thirty bucks. <laughs> so crisp and yeah, I'm I'm flutter I know I'm fluttering my cash like a millionaire, but it's just two dollar bills. How often do you come across somebody, or do you come across this many two dollar bills in a lifetime? I mean, that that looks like good luck to me. I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, and it says they say series two thousand nine, but they're brand spanking new. I mean, yeah, they're not all wadded up. So that's, that was kind of cool. Anyway, so enough of that. Showing off my two dollar bills. Um, I don't know where, where I got that. Oh, that's, for, yeah, right. The thirty dollar check was the birthday present from a grandfather. Okay, so, on with the beer. I just wasted two, two minutes. Double take, IPA, India Pale Ale, genuine craft ale brewed in the USA. It's a head snapper. And that's what it looks like. Hmm. It smells very hoppy. Very piney, very clean, crisp. Okay. Beer Advocate gives us a 68 out of 100, a pour. Um, the reader average or whatever user average, whatever you want to call it, is 2.69. The bros have not rated this yet. The uh, ABV is 6.9. Not bad. Um, we got 3.46. Pours golden head or golden colored brew with a blah blah blah, blah taste. Taste begins with doughy, somewhat sweet, sweeter. Taste up front the being a blend of orange tangerine and blah blah blah. Alright, so let's pour this up. It does have like a tangerine S color going on. It is almost like an amp not really an amber, but uh um Golden, like a light golden color. Yep, it does smell like an IPA. Doesn't smell too in your face. Doesn't t t smell too strong. And maybe that's why it's got like a lower score. Like I don't know why that people are like, oh, it's crap. It's a crap IPA because it didn't break my neck. It's not super hoppy. I'm like, sorry, go buy a better one. I don't know. I I come with an analogy, but I can't figure up figure one. Anyways, it's got a thin, thin head. Light bubbles. It's not super fizzy. It's light carbonation. Hmm. Seems to be a little flat. Hmm. 
it's not bad, but let's see, this is probably an $8 beer. I wish it would say on here how much it was. That should be a thing on Beer Advocate price. Oh, where's it brewed? 6.9% alcohol by volume. Brewed by Brewmaster's Choice, Rochester, New York. New York, eh? Well, hmm. I'm not okay. I gotta admit, I'm not really wowed by this. Um, what other pale ales have I had? Uh, I'm looking up at my wall up there. Up. Uh, I'm already feeling alcohol content. Up there. Oh, Long Hammer IPA. That one had a bit more, I think that one's a bit better actually. And people uh, didn't like that. They, they didn't get very good reviews. But I liked it quite a bit. Um, what else is around here? No, that's pretty much it, except for Bex and Budweiser. Um, so pretty much, my, my rating is If I gave that an 8, I'm going to give this a 7.8. I mean, it's good, and I'm only giving it a lower score than that because that one's better. If I had never had that one, I'd probably give this one, well, I probably wouldn't give it an 8 either. Yeah, I think it's 7.8 is fair. I mean, it's not, it's not, jeez, my face is freaking oily. It's one thing if I use my, my cell phone, I don't see my own face, and then I completely ignore. <sighs> face surgery. Anyways. Yeah, it's alright, but... If you if there's an IPA you, you should get... I haven't, I haven't had it in a long time, but... Uh, frick, what was it called? Um... Hop, hop, hop again. Hopalicious, hop, hopalicious. I guess that's one. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Nincasi. I thought I had that bottle here. Maybe I returned it. Um. Anyways, there, there's some better pale ills. This one, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not really disappointing. I mean, it, at least guess what? It, it's got six point nine percent. So which that's not bad. My only criticism is for me, it it just tastes a little flat. It doesn't have much of a carbonation. It's not really that pale. So for that reason alone, I'm giving it a seven a seven point five seven point eight. I mean, it's good, but it's not great. And it, it, it is kind of a bummer. It says on the on the sticker, um, it's a head snapper. It, it isn't really, unless you've never had a pale ale, or if you had one, you haven't had one very frequently. And so, as soon as you have something, you know, vaguely pale, and we're not cotton, we're not not cotton, we're not cotton, cotton, we're not picking cotton, we're not we're not counting, um, Berlin Rock. Pale ale, because that's complete bullshit. I mean, I like Rolling Rock, but it's not pale ale at all. Um, yeah. So, 7.8 needs more combination, or needs to be more pale. Combination and paleness. That's that's my opinion. So, let me take a quick little sip.
Okay, let me read a couple of reviews. Double take, more like spit take. Reading the other reviews makes me wonder if a bad batch got out. It's horribly sweet, even for someone who likes sweet. Hmm, okay. It has a chemical taste to it, too. I don't taste the chemical taste. Bottom line, there are so many other better beers that are blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there is better beers, but it's not bad. I mean, let me give you an example of a bad beer. Dozeki's Amber. This was flat. They didn't have much carbonation. And it's only 4.3% or 4.5. Um, and now I don't remember. Oh, well. Not enough to like slightly get a buzz. It's it's shit. And this sells for seven fifty on sale or seven forty on sale. If you don't get on sale, it could be up to like nine fifty depending on where you go. Yeah. This, I mean, this is probably the same price point. Maybe not quite as bad, but at least it's got percentage to it. Another person, two point four nine out of five. Let's see, the last person was poor Yorick. Um, Andreas, please excuse my lack of viewing knowledge as I wanted to supplement poor Yorick's review. I too received a bad batch of this beer. I bought six packs at Safeway store in San Francisco because they were only five dollars each and two of them were disgustingly sweet. Horrible garbage. One of the six packs though was decent and tasted like somewhat decent IPA. Huh, that's interesting. Nothing to write home about. Um, how about a great review? Oh, 1.73. Um, we're not buying this again. I feel like the burning in the back of my throat. Not recommended. That's weird. Huh. Well, anyways, if you want to read more reviews, go look up uh, Double Take IPA on beeradvocate.com. Yeah, I'm sticking by my 7.58. Uh, rating. Thanks for watching. See you next time.